to become overly cautious, you know, kind of failure averse and therefore unable to invent and pioneer. You cannot invent and pioneer if you cannot accept failure. To, to, to invent, you need to experiment. And if, it's, if you know in advance that it's going to work, it is not an experiment. And so that's a very important thing. You, you know, it's a, the, they are inseparable twins, failure and invention. And so you have to be willing to do that. And it's embarrassing to fail. Um, it, you know, it's always embarrassing to fail. But you have to say, no, that's not how this works. If I said to you, you have a 10% chance of a, of, with a particular decision, a 10% chance of a 100x return, you should take that bet every time but you're still gonna be wrong nine out of 10 times, and it's gonna feel bad nine out of 10 times. And in, 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 with technology, the outcomes, the results can be very long-tailed. The, the payoff is, can be very asymmetric, which is why you should do so much experimentation. You know, pe everybody knows that if you swing for the fences, you hit more home runs, but you also strike out more. But with the baseball, that analogy doesn't go far enough because with baseball, no matter how well you connect with the ball, you can only get four runs. The success is capped at four runs. But in business, every once in a while, you step up to the plate and you hit the ball so hard, you get a thousand runs. And so when, that, when you have that kind of asymmetric payoff and you know, one, at, one at back can get you a thousand runs, it encourages you to experiment more. It's the right business decision to experiment more. It's also better for your customers. Customers like um, the successful experiments. By the way, this is a, a giant misconception in um, a lot of young entrepreneurs, inexperienced entrepreneurs that they meet. One of the things that is very fashionable right now is to talk about how disruptive their business plan is going to be. And, um, they, but invention is not disruptive. Only customer adoption is disruptive. At Amazon, we've invented a lot of things that customers did not care about at all. And believe me, they were not disruptive to anyone. So it's only when customers like the new way that anything becomes disruptive. Um, and so really, it's just saying that you want to, you know, if somebody comes to you with a business plan that they claim is disruptive, you should ask them to explain it to you in simpler language. And the simpler language is, why are customers going to adopt this? Um, why are they going to like it? Why is it better um, than the traditional way? So, so along those lines, we have you know, some press and media in, in the room. Is there something that you think um, people get wrong about Amazon that's 